Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 tips, tricks, and secrets with you guys in Grand Theft Auto Online that you guys definitely need to know about, and these are some pretty useful ones as well. Most of these relating to the Doomsday Heist updates and content from that, so let's go ahead and get straight into things. And to get started, despite the fact the Doomsday Heist update was released almost a month ago now, there are still loads of tips and tricks in-game from this update, which I can assure you guys you do not know about. And this first one is possibly one of those. I myself didn't know about this trick until early today, which I'm kind of surprised about because it is so useful. And one of those things which is kind of hard to go unnoticed. But basically, whilst you're flying around in the Akula Attack helicopter, if you have a wanted level above two stars, as soon as you activate stealth mode, it will go straight down to two stars. So as you guys just saw in the gameplay, I had a four star wanted level after blowing up a load of cops with missiles. I then began flying away and then activated stealth mode and lost my four star wanted level and went down to a two star. But by the way guys, you haven't got to begin flying away to actually do this. I know I did so in the gameplay, but you can be directly above the cops with a three, four or five star wanted level. Just activate stealth mode even when they're still looking at you and you'll still drop down to a two star wanted level. And from here then, if you want to lose your wanted level completely, it is very simple. Of course, under three stars, the police helicopters will not follow you, so just fly away and you'll lose your wanted level in about 30 seconds or so. But there we go, guys. So if you thought stealth mode on this was good, with the fact that you can go off the radar when you activate it, you can also reduce your wanted level from a three, four, or five star wanted level down to a two just by activating it. Anyway, moving on to the second trick in this video, and this one is pretty awesome. In fact, some of you guys might be mind blown if you're hearing this for the first time. I certainly was this morning when I was first told about this, but did you guys know whilst you're driving around in regular cars or maybe flying around in the Deluxo, you can use the flare gun as flares. So basically, when people are firing missiles at you, whether it's the homing launcher or homing missiles on attack helicopters and stuff like that, you can use the flares to redirect those missiles. And this functions just like the flare countermeasure which you can apply to most aircrafts in game with the release of the Smuggler's Run update. But of course with regular cars and vehicles you can't fit the flare countermeasures to them so instead get yourself a flare gun and make sure you're stocked up on ammo so when people fire missiles at you just go ahead and fire a few of these to redirect them so they don't hit you. So this is definitely a very useful tip to bear in mind, and honestly guys, like I said, I cannot believe I didn't know about this sooner, especially seeing the flare gun has been in-game now for at least two or three years or so. Anyway, moving on to the third trick in today's video. Now did you guys know, when your Deluxo is in hover mode, you can push it with your character. So what you want to do, of course, is have the Deluxo in hover mode and stationary, and to do this, what you want to do whilst driving forward is jump out of the Deluxo, so it remains in hover mode and is stationary. Now in a few moments you'll see my Deluxo comes to a stop, and when I run my character into the front of it, my character is able to push the Deluxo backwards. Now to be honest, this is nothing crazy, as you can see it moves very, very slowly, but nevertheless, you can move it a few feet every few minutes. So in some situations, you might find this quite useful, if you're trying to take snapmatics and things like that. And you can push it in any direction you want. You can push it sideways by running into the side of it, you can push it forwards by running into the back of it, but as you guys can see, what you have to do is run into it, step back, run back into it again, and keep on doing that over and over and over again, if you want it to keep on moving forwards. And just prove to you guys that I am moving it and it's not just some momentum left over from when I jumped out of it. As you just saw, I stopped moving and it stopped moving as well. I then started running back into it again and it's now moving once again. Now, like I said, it's not moving very quickly. It's literally just a few inches at a time. So it's not really that practical, but in some situations you might find this quite useful. Like I said, for example, taking snapmatics and having it in the perfect position. If you really want to push it around, just go and steal another car and push it with that. But I thought it was kind of cool the fact that you could push it with your character. Anyway, moving on to the next trick, this one also involves the Deluxo, and it's pretty awesome if I may say so myself. Basically with this, what you can do is make it look like you've cambered the wheels on the Deluxo. So basically what you want to do is have the car hovering in stationary. I showed you guys just a few moments ago how to do that. Whilst it's moving forwards, just jump out. From here then, what you want to do is open up the interaction menu, then go to vehicle, and then go down to remote functions, and turn the engine off. And as you can see, the hover mode is then deactivated, but the wheels are still cambered. 
Now unfortunately you can't just jump in and start driving around with this because when you do get back in, the hover mode is activated once again, which is kind of a shame. It would have been so cool if you could have got cambered wheels on this vehicle. And that's definitely a feature we'd love to see in GTA Online at some point. But until then, this is the closest we can get. And in fairness, it is still pretty cool. You can still use this at car shows or for Snapmatics. And when players see this, I'm sure they'll agree that it is kind of a cool trick. Anyway, moving on, and as I'm sure you guys know, when someone is sitting in one of their weaponized vehicles and driving around, there'll be an icon on the map which shows that vehicle. So for example, right now, my friend ADYYY has his tank out, and of course it's not shown on the minimap, but when he gets into it, it will then be shown on the map that he's driving around in a tank. But there's a way of disabling this so it doesn't show to other players what vehicle they're driving around. And simply all you need to do is make sure that you have a bounty. Because when you have a bounty, it doesn't show the vehicle you're in, but instead it just shows that you have a bounty on your head. So my friend ADYYY right now already has a bounty on him, but what you can do is just get one of your friends or one of the players in the session to put a bounty on you by calling Lester and setting a bounty. Or alternatively, if you don't have a friend or someone in the session who can help you out, don't worry, just go and steal a few random AI cars which are driving around the map, and usually after two or three, one of those AIs will then put a bounty on you. From here then, get into one of your weaponized vehicles, such as the tank, and the icon for it will no longer be shown. Instead, the bounty on you will be shown instead. So as you can see, my friend right now is inside his tank, and instead of showing the tank icon on the minimap and on the radar, it shows his bounty instead. And by the way guys, this works with any vehicle or aircraft in-game, not just the tank. So I'm sure straight away you guys can see the advantages in this. For example, as I'm sure you guys know, if you're flying around in a helicopter or a plane, you're usually a target, and when players see those on the minimap, they will often get out a homing launcher and try and take those down, but if they can't see them coming, then there's a good chance you'll be able to avoid those. But this works in both ways. If you're driving around in a tank, usually most players will avoid you because it's pretty difficult to win battles against tanks in game. But if you can hide that from the map and you have a bounty on you, of course attracting players towards you to try and capture that bounty money will come to you and you can take them out without them even knowing what vehicle you're in. Anyway, moving on to this next one. Now, did you guys know that when in the back of the Avenger, it is possible to get arrested or busted in GTA Online? This being something which in GTA Online isn't very common. In fact, you don't get arrested or busted whatsoever in GTA Online like you can in story mode when you have a one or two star wanted level and the police capture you. Instead, they just try and kill you no matter what wanted level you have. But when in the back of the Avenger, if you're operating the turret and you get yourself a five star wanted level and the police get too close to you, they will in fact arrest you, and for a split second, you'll receive this busted notification before being teleported to the nearest police station. Now unlike in story mode where you lose money and all your weapons, online, nothing really happens. You literally just get teleported to the nearest police station, you'll still have all of your money and all of your weapons. But still, a cool feature which I'm sure many of you guys did not know, and there's only one other way of actually doing this online, getting busted, and that's doing the exact same thing, but in your mobile operation center instead. Anyway, moving on to the next tip or trick in this video, and this also involves the Avenger. This one is a little more known, and you guys may have seen and have this happen to you before, but did you guys know you can actually fly the Avenger around with just one turbine? So whilst being shot at, eventually you'll find the motors start to set on fire, or at least start smoking like they are for me, and as you're flying around, one motor might stop working. But even so, it's still able to fly. It will start tilting to the left slightly, but you can easily counter this and still fly around quite comfortably. But if the aircraft is damaged enough, eventually the second propeller will stop working. But instead of just nose diving down to the ground like most planes, you can still fully control the Avenger. In fact, you can still glide around for a while and bring it into a very safe and soft landing. Unlike most planes, like I said, as soon as the propellers go on those, usually it just nose dives out of control and will explode instantly. Then as for the next trick, this involves the submarine car, the Stromberg. Now as I'm sure you guys know, when you go underwater and you transform into the submarine mode, the only weapon you have access to are torpedoes. But there's a way of glitching this to be able to use the machine gun turrets as well. So what you guys want to do before you go into the water is select the machine gun turrets. Then open up your phone, drive into the water and activate submarine mode. And once it's fully active, you can then close your phone and continue driving around in the water with the machine gun turret selected. They're also fully functional as well, so you can use these under the water even though usually this shouldn't be a feature. 
Now, to be honest, I'm not really too sure why I prefer this over the torpedoes, but if you guys want to for some reason, you can get the machine gun turrets on this vehicle underwater as well. But do bear in mind, if you swap them at any time and go to the torpedoes, there is no way of going back unless you exit the water and do this glitch again. Now for those players that own the jetpack or the mammoth thruster in game, you'll find this next trick pretty useful. So as I'm sure you guys know, once you land and you get off it and you get back onto it, to actually activate the jetpack and start flying around again on it takes around about two or three seconds when you stand on because your character has to press a series of buttons before you can take off and start to fly around. But there's a way of bypassing that and skipping that two or three seconds and taking off pretty much straight away. So what you guys want to do as soon as you get on it is press the button which activates Jato. So as you can see, as soon as my character stands on it, I press the button as quickly as possible and he takes off straight away before he even starts pressing the buttons on the control panel. Anyway, but moving on to the 10th and final tip or trick in today's video, and this one basically allows you to lose your wanted level very, very quickly whilst driving around or flying around with the Deluxo. So no matter what wanted level you have, all you simply have to do is fly out to sea, and the cops will not be able to follow you. They'll try and do so, they'll actually drive into the sea, as you can see in the gameplay, and pretty much drown straight away. But despite being on water, the police boats will not be called. It looks like Rockstar have forgotten to add this into the game, now we have the Deluxo in GTA Online, but it basically means that if you guys have a wanted level and you want to lose it quickly, just simply fly out to sea and the only people that can follow you are the police helicopters, but keep on driving and you'll very very quickly lose them. But there we go, a very simple and straightforward and very self-explanatory trick there. But with that being said, those are the 10 tips, tricks and secrets that you guys may not know in GTA Online for this video. If you guys have enjoyed this one, of course, go ahead and drop a like on this video as it helps me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Leave a comment on this video as well if you guys have any questions or any more suggestions for cool tips, tricks and secrets other players may not know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.